Okay, since this is a uh, digital photography and uh, digital means uh, computers, let's talk about something important that nobody does but every hardcore professional tester does, especially when I used to uh, do stuff for Apple. Uh, sandboxing. What the hell is sandboxing? Uh, do you know what uh, clone software is? Especially for Mac users, this is a lot simpler. There is a lot of clone software for Windows, I mean Windblows, excuse me. Where you actually clone your PC, you clone your Mac with the uh, cloning software, and that gives you a uh, complete backup. You update that, uh, but it's not a backup, it's a complete uh, mirror copy of your system. It is a bootable clone, a BC, a bootable clone. Uh, this is one bootable clone. I've got dozens of bootable clones from my various computers, and I'm always updating them. Okay. Why is this important? Why is it so damn useful? Uh, in beta testing, new uh, operating systems like, you know, Macintosh now, Apple has always come out with operating system now. Every year or two, um, they are uh, replacing El Capitan. Um, I forget the name of the uh, replacement for the operating system. And uh, what people do is actually create a clone. I'll use like Carbon Copy Cloner or Super Duper, which is a cloning software. Clones my entire system. I plug my uh, my lap uh, my uh, external hard drive. I don't actually use this one, but I use a, a naked hard drive. Plug it in, and then I'll go into uh, my system and I'll uh, choose which hard drive to boot from. I'll shut it down and it will restart itself. Instead of booting from my internal hard drive, it will boot from the external which is a mirror copy. And then what that lets you do in sandboxing is install various applications, new operating systems, and if you screw up, so what? You didn't mess up your computer. All you did was mess up a mirror clone. A lot of people, like what I do with my primary uh, computer systems, is that uh, I'll uh, keep uh, two or three copies of uh, bootable clones in various stages of progression. This is as far as when's the last time I updated them. And if a new operating system comes out and if it possibly conflicts with my existing software applications, not an issue. I don't give a damn. You know, it's like, oh, wow, I ran into a huge train wreck here. I just installed the latest version of OS X and it's screwing with Photoshop or it's doing this. Or I want to mess around with a huge program that could be malicious, for example. Um, it could uh, cause other uh, corruption issues. You know, so what? Sandbox it. And uh, this is as easy, it's actually easier to do on a Mac than it is on Windows, but they're both basically essentially easily. You just choose the hard drive that you want to boot from. Boot from that, obviously the external one, which is the mirror clone. And uh, what you're doing is just kind of taking a carbon copy of your computer and, uh, you know, using it as the guinea pig for testing. And whatever problems you encounter, so what? Computer's fine. Also, if your hard drive crashes, um, still not an issue. I'll uh, rip it out, I'll install the uh, clone that I've got, and I'm up and running, just like that. This is where backup, see what per people think that, uh, a lot of people use Time Machine, and here is a hardcore fact too, uh, if you're a Mac user. The people that are hardcore and like Apple support, this is an undeniable fact. They will tell you flat out that uh, Time Machine is a douchebag feature for backing up your data because it overwrites. I've got a lot of data on the downsides of Time Machine. Hardcore pros don't use Time Machine. You know, you can scoff at me all you want, but I know this for a damn fact. I know it for a fact. What they do use is bootable clones, and of course a bootable clone is not big enough usually to store your data. And they have their data separate. This is another mistake everybody really, really makes. They think that their data belongs in your computer. Your com if you don't remember anything else out of this video, you should remember this. No computer is a data storage platform. Well, sure it is. Computer's got a hard drive in there. No. Listen the hell up, okay? Yeah, I know. I kind of sound arrogant right now, but I'm the expert on this one. I can assure you of that. No computer is a data storage platform. What the hell it is is a desktop, just like this crummy, shaky, little wobbly desk I got here. You know, say I got tons of files. You know how useless and horrible working on this desktop would be if I had all my data, my files, my music, my pictures, my videos, you know, all, you know, this is a desktop. Your computer has a desktop in it. Your computer's hard drive that is connected to the desktop that you're working on, i.e. the internal drive, whether that be a solid-state drive, whether that be a hard drive, 
Your computer is a working platform. It's WP. And I've actually wrote the article for this for Apple. If you want the link, let me know. Just type in methodology to protect your data. And it'll come up immediately in a Google search. Your desktop is exactly like this. Your computer's hard drive, your computer solid state drive is exactly like this. Your files go somewhere else. If you think your computer is a data storage device, then you're, you're, you're being an idiot. Just flat out, bar none, you're being a, a dumbass. I hate to say that, but you are. And most people operate this well. It's my computer. I got my files on it. No, 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 damn it. Your computer is meant to have your working files, stuff that you work on on a daily basis. It is meant to be a platform for getting stuff done, creating stuff, moving stuff. It is not meant to be a data storage platform. Okay? If you're using more than 20% of your computer's solid state drive or hard drive, for uh, dead files, and by dead files, I mean like music stuff. If it's music you listen to daily, that's fine. I mean, that's going to make up the 20%. Music, excess music files, excess movie files, excess word files, PDF, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 your computer, no, no, no. It belongs on backups and archives and hard backups and servers, you know, here and there, all across the world to make sure you got multiple redundancies. Because there's one thing that is God in computers. One word, and it starts with a big R, <clears throat> redundancy. Go back to sandboxing. Uh, so make a, uh, uh, a uh, copy of uh, your hard drive and sandbox it. You know, new operating system comes out, people go like this, go, oh God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so scared of installing the latest operating system, I might jack with all my programs. So what? Make a clone, boot from the clone. You see, you have to ha use a software application that makes a bootable clone. If it's a Mac, it's a Super Duper is one, Carbon Copy Cloners. I think Carbon Copy Cloner now is available for Windows. I don't use Windblows anymore, but I think it works for both now. Or at least there's a Windblows version of Carbon Copy Cloner. So I make it a bootable clone. Then boot from that. Then update the operating system or install new software on this. And if it screws up, so damn what? So remember that. It's called sandboxing. And the other thing is, if you think your computer is a data storage device, then you're being just flat out stupid because it is not. You're making a big mistake. It causes issues. It causes speed issues. It causes uh, vulnerability issues to your data. Your desktop, i.e. your computer, whether that's a laptop or a, a regular you know, PC or you know, iMac or Mac Mini, whatever the hell it is, if you're not using that as a working platform for getting stuff done. No. Your computer should be treated like a tool belt and uh, not a, a tool chest. This is the kind of the easiest way to think about it. You know, kind of you got a tool belt and it's got all the stuff you need on there to build a house or what you do on a daily basis. If uh, that is not what is on your computer's hard drive or solid state drive, then you're being stupid. And, you know, a tool belt is me meant to hold tools for your daily working activities to get crap done. Your tool chest is meant to hold tools that you use occasionally, you look at, you do things with, but it's not something you're using on a daily basis. So, Stop treating your computer like a tool chest and start treating it like a tool belt. Kind of the best analogy I could think of. And uh, this philosophy will protect you and make sure you have multiple redundancies. God is redundancy. Redundancy is God when it comes to computers. Spent so many years listening to so many people. One guy was like, oh my God, I just lost my job. I got four kids to support because this moron had like the whole company's data on one hard drive and the hard drive took a poop on itself. And then, you know, like 20 years of the data was lost and, you know, he, he, he got canned. His ass got fired. I've actually heard that story firsthand many times. If it's not exactly like that, it's something almost exactly like that. And that is seriously effed up. That means that you just lost your job and your ability to support your wife and four kids because of a $70 hard drive. 70 bucks. So remember that. Thanks for watching. Bye.